Hello Tikis. In this short video, we will learn how to work with list of files in root folder action as part of OneDrive for business actions. Before learning about this action, let me show you a small use case. In my OneDrive, I'm having my files. In my, my files, I'm having some of the folders. My files is my root folder. I just want to know what are the files and subfolders we are having in the particular root folder? How can we go ahead and do that? There's an action called list files in root folder action, which is available for OneDrive for Business Actions. By using this action, we can get all the files and folders which are available in the root folders. All right, let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. If you see the main purpose of this action is to get the list of files and subfolders in the root folder. This list file in root folder connected to OneDrive by using connection reference so that I don't want to give any parameters except the advanced parameter that is timeout. It will give an output by using this action list files in root folder and it will give the output in the variable called list root folder response. All right, I'm going to default time as 60 and then I'm going to click on save. Now let's run the desktop flow to see the output by clicking on run. Flow execution started. Now if you observe, it is trying to retrieve the files and subfolders in the, in the root folder and it will store the output in list root folder response. If you see the flow variables, I'm having the output. Let's double click on that. If you see over here, this variable value that is list folder response having the list of values over there, which may have the files and subfolders. Now, if you see Power Automate Desktop 2.devocx is the file. If you click on more, I will see is folder equal to false. Let me go back. And there, if you see, I'm having more over here. If you see, I'm having Microsoft Team chart files, which is is folder as true. And then if I go back another one, there I'm having Power Automate Desktop is folder as true over here. Now, let me go back to the browser. There you can see I'm having Microsoft Team chart files and Power Automate Desktop and Power Automate Desktop 2. That is PAD2.DOCX, right? If you observe, there is one more name over there that is Chapter 1 Computer System, which is related to the link over here, all right? So it will not be considered because by using list files in root folder, it will get only the list of files and subfolder, but not the links over here. All right. Now you may get one doubt. Whatever the action is performed by the list files in root folder action, the same action will also can be performed by list of files in folder. All right. Let me double click on that. There you can see in my list of files folders, I'm going to select the root folder over here. And then I'm going to click on save. Now let me enable this action. Now let me run this desktop flow with these two actions. That is one is list files in folder. Another one list files in root folder. All right, let's click on run. Flow execution started. Now the flow has executed successfully with these two actions. One is list files in folder. Another one list files in root folder. Let me open these two output flows over here. Now, if you observe in my list files in folder, I'm having the values. There you can see I'm going to get the same output, right? Now, if you close this, now I'm going to open list of files in root folder output variable that is list root folder response. And now, if you see the outputs are the same, all right? But what is the main difference in these two things? One is that list of files in root folder, you are not going to give any parameters, but it is trying to get the output from the root folder. Whereas list of files in folder, it will give the output in any folder which is available in the particular OneDrive. All right, that is the major difference. In the list files in folder action, you have to specify the path. Whereas in list of files in root folder, you don't want to specify any path. It will give the output of the files and subfolders 
by using the root folder by default. All right. I hope you understand how to work with list to file in root folder action as part of this tutorial. And also we have learned the main differences between list files in folder action as well as list files in root folder action.